Good afternoon, good evening, and good night. This is me, Queen Ra, and I can't be stopped. I'm gonna go to Periscope, and I'm gonna play all the music I want when I move into my own studio, and I'm gonna go on podcasts and do it there. I'm gonna do it on Zoom. I won't do it on Facebook, because they hate. Anyway, I just wanna tell you guys, I love you. I want to come in here and love up on you, because we have a meal break. And I already ate. <laughs> I went to Whole Foods and I got some tuna fish and some crackers. So I can yam on that. And I got uh, some iced tea. Ooh, ooh. I got blueberries and raspberries. Uh-huh. I got, oh, I got coconut water. And I got, oh, humankind organic lemonade. So I'm straight until tomorrow. Because Monday morning... I got to uh, move out of here. So right now, I got to take some of this stuff to storage because I can't move all this on Monday. I got to go to storage. Yeah, but, um, oh, God, what time is it? Four o'clock. I can be here by six, six to eight, two hours. Okay, that'll work. Anyway, UPW has been great, and I have a lot of shit in here, and I'm starting to get stressed about it because I got to get it all out by nine o'clock in the morning on Sunday. And um, the storage is only open to seven and, you know, blah, blah, blah. So life is in session. Life is in session. Life is in session. I'm turned up. They're talking about, oh, uh, keep the, how are you going to keep the, uh, the the thing going after? Man, I've been so turned up since comeback challenge. Can't nothing stop me now. I waited too long. I waited too long for my blessing. Where do you turn this in at? Here? Hey, Rihanna, how you doing, Gina? Yeah, I got a lot of stuff in here, and I'm starting to feel overwhelmed. <laughs> I'm going to storage, and then I'm coming back. I've got to go to storage. So that's what I'm doing now. Pack it up for storage, and then I'll come back and do class. So I just wanted to connect with y'all because I was feeling away, you know, um, feeling like I can't take it. I love the work, but the music is like driving me crazy. I had to even turn down their music and put my music on. Yeah, you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. You know, so, man, I was the same way about reggae music. I can't take reggae all damn day long. You know what I'm saying? I like the music to be mixed up. Oh, I've been feeling overwhelmed too. I need to channel my Virgo organization for social media. Social media, let me tell you something about you, Missy. You don't need to be on uh, social media. You need to be studying for your class. Work on your dream. Don't fuck social media because social media is fake. Those are fake people trolling you. Fake is fake energy. It's taken away from your dream. You want to be laser focused, queen, on your goal. And your goal is to get that certification for doula or whatever else you're working on. You're going to be laser focused to completing your GoFundMe. And you don't need social media for that. You need to call all your rich friends that you got and say, hey, you know, I got a GoFundMe and I'm almost to my goal. Can you help me promote it? Because I'm busy studying right now. There should be no TV, no social media. You're on a spiritual uh, birth mission. You're working on your dream, queen. You ain't got time to watch TV, chit chat with me, argue with people about the children that are missing. Fuck all that. Do you. This is what I learned about from Tony. Fuck all that low energy. You do you. Because like I'm doing me, people call me with the bullshit. Yesterday my daughter called me and fucked up my whole goddamn day. And was nothing wrong. And I knew there was nothing wrong. I knew that my other daughter just needed her peace. But my other daughter wouldn't accept that. And she wanted to put her worry on me with the sad face. I'm like, Wonder, what is that face? You know, you got to watch your family because they can take your whole shit off, man. I, I'm a hater for that, man. I'm in the middle of my class and she calls me with that bullshit, worried about her sister who's doing her own thing. Let her do her own thing. She grown. She's married with two kids and two carat diamond on her hand. Let her do her own thing. You're married with a baby. Do your own thing. 
Why are you trying to drag me in this shit? I was so upset with her. I yelled at her because I was tired. I said, you know, I'm fucking tired. I'm doing this shit and you're bothering me. I just... Then she said, well, you know, you haven't bought anything for the baby. So I buy something for the baby. She complains about that. The almost too much plastic for the environment. And then she shows me all the shit that my grandchild has gotten. That child don't need nothing. So why is she pressing me to buy stuff? And then when I buy it, she's complaining. You see how family can do you? I told her, look, I got to go. Your mother says, fuck you. <laughs> That's what I mean. What are you posting for? You should both be studying. Shut off your phone, queen. You're out in nature. Get your power back. Get your power. Get excited. You're a doula. You're birthing babies, baby. Fuck with other missing kids. You're bringing new kids in. We'll take care of that. God's going to take care of that. It's not your mission to worry about the missing kids. It's your mission, according to you, to birth the kids and bring them in in a beautiful environment. Support the parents. Support the, you know, that's what you do, right? Or did you change missions? Because the mission that you told me you were on was assisting birth, not finding missing children. You see how you got all caught up in that energy and it's fucking your head up? And then I find out that Tony's on that. I saw it on YouTube. He's on it. So you're not, you're thinking nobody's on it. Ricky Byron Beckett is on it. Tony Robbins is on it. And he got zillions of dollars. So I got so much. Oh, that, uh, I'm coaching you, queen. I'm, accept the coaching. Be laser focused on what you're up to. Because after talking to you, I'm laser focused about what you're up to. That's why I'm asking you, uh, did I get it wrong? <laughs> Uh, yeah, people all over it. We got this. God got the angels got this. You, you're not God. You a doula. <laughs> you birth babies. Not look for them. <laughs> you looked up the birth canal. Is the baby coming down? Is the mom cool? You know, I love it. I love your work. What's your mission, doc? Dr. Sheryl Dossett? Are you a baby doctor? Roxanne Lakawa Roxanne Lakdawala. What's your mission? I know you are. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. I'm going to do the training for homemade. I'm going to do it. What's your mission on, on what? I guess you ain't been doing your homework. <laughs> Who knows what their mission is? State it and make it plain right here in the chat room. We're going to agree. We're going to touch it and agree. What is your... I live for nine years of return. I haven't been on track. Oh, you were living in out of the cut girl for nine years? Yeah. Find out what your purpose, find out what your why is. Here's the book. If you're having any problem, you can get this on Amazon. You're a chaplain? Okay. So, I actually came on because I need y'all to motivate me. <laughs> My mission is to help people start and improve businesses and reach their mission. There you go. You're a business coach. To be the best version of myself. <laughs> Lindsay said to be uh, a nurse practitioner. Uh, I'm a sacred birth keeper ushering in a new evolution of holding mamas in their power. I love that. Rosie said, I don't know what my purpose is. But what is your heart calling you to do? What is your heart calling you to do? There's nothing a person does that is not an attempt to meet their needs. Boy, that's true. Mm. I wrote a book and produced a documentary, but you feel stuck. What's being stuck? All right, so tomorrow we would create a, a vital life. It's our last day. Uh-oh, what is this? Do, 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 do. Oh, my mission is... <laughs> my mission is to 
write my book and release it on Amazon from Tent to Temple to Triumph. My mission is to coach and empower the homeless. My mission is to hold sister circles at the beach on Saturday mornings at 7 a.m. to work with the women who are hurt and suffering in a private setting, in a very private and safe setting. My mission is to get housing for myself where it's big enough for me to have my in-house studio to do my podcast. My mission is to affect millions of homeless and disadvantaged black people. That's my mission. My mission is to bring this information back to the hood. I'm in IT. I never saw myself as a business coach. Everything you talked about was business. <laughs> Your 10-day vital health challenge. Okay, I got that. I'm, okay, that's fine. Okay, I don't need to do that. All right, I'm doing good. All right, let me get this shit over to the uh, storage. I got to go. I'll be back at 7 o'clock, I guess. I don't know. <sighs> like I said, I'm feeling overwhelmed. I have more stuff in here than I brought. So I have to... Uh, that's a switch when we have to motivate you. You're our inspiration, beautiful soul. Thank you. Love you. I'm just letting you know that I'm human. I'm fighting a breakdown. I wanted to throw a fucking bottle at the goddamn computer with the fucking music, man. I was like, fuck, again? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm like, oh, 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 no. Please, you're torturing. It's like water torture. <laughs> but all I, but see, from where I come from, when you have a complaint like that, this is how you switch the energy. Fuck what Tony's doing. This teaches me what not to do at my event. When I have an event, I make sure I don't do that to my people. Play the same kind of music that I like. Because everybody don't like what I like. Mix it up. <laughs> I love to empower women overcome the constructive imposter syndrome. What is that? Hmm. Start with the music focus. It's not easy to focus with that shit Banging, banging, banging. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like, no, no, no. I can't turn up like that. I got to have some really good music to turn up. I cannot turn up with the fake rock music. I can't do it. I tried. I can't do it. I got to shake my ass for real. That's why I put on some James Brown. I'm an African. An unapology black woman and i need some real goddamn music to motivate my ass so i can shake it because i got an attitude <laughs> that's my truth i'm an african woman and i like to play music and feel all kinds of music <laughs> and shake my ass and shake my ass I can't be doing, eh, 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 eh. I can do all this, hey, eh, eh, eh. <laughs> so I just know when I give my event, which we call Living Your Wildest Dream, I will play a whole bunch of different music, yeah, uh, uh, uh. I'll play a lot of different music, I know one thing though, this I know for true, if Tony was to diversify his music, he would get them into a more peak state. People are getting tired. Sometimes you got to bring them up slowly. And, bring, and, and as you bring them up, the people who are sitting on the couch, worn out, will get up because they don't feel overwhelmed. And then you bring them up slowly. And then you bring them up. And then you... And then you da, 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 da. But you just can't start out like that sometimes after three days. Unapologetically black in China. Wow, I love the name of that. Is it out? Oh, my God. Did you... Is the book out already? Yeah, that's how you do. You just say, okay, that's what they're doing. This is what I'm going to do. <laughs> that's all. I mean, I'm going to write a letter to Tony Robbins Association tell him, look, the event was great, but the music, Jesus Christ, man. And the music's so important because, you know, we are metaphysicians and we work with word, sound, power. And so as you shift energies, you know, yeah. So here's the good news. We're having two Zoom classes. The first one is called Your Health is Your Wealth. The second one is called Your Wildest Dream. Health is Your Wealth. That crew, my personal coach, told me she quit her corporate job and she got two books out. I just ordered them. And she opened up a holistic center and she ain't looked back. And she lives in Nantucket. 
There's other music you can do to shock people. Vibes Cartel can get your ass up, boy, I'm telling you. There's all kinds of, it's the same shit all over. It's the same shit every day. I hate it. I have to express this. I fucking hate it. Variety is the spice of fucking life. The world is big. It's just not rock music. Come on. <laughs> so that's my pet peeve. And I got too much shit in here. I got to get it to storage. So I'm not overwhelmed on Monday morning. Mm. I love y'all so much. <laughs> you know, I, I am in a peak state, really, most times. This is top, taking me out of my peak state. I came in here in a peak state, motivated y'all and was ready. And this shit's just wearing me out. It's giving me a fucking headache. And it's pissing me off. So I gotta get off the pissofity and get a new attitude. Off the pissofity, get a new attitude. In the same way, I gotta move my shit out of this hotel so I'm not overwhelmed on Monday. So I got other shit going on. I got curfew to worry about. I gotta get, sit, sit, get this shit over to there and then come back and, and it's hot outside. It's fucking 98 degrees. Mm. Big things are, look, so that's what I want to tell you. As soon as this is over, oh my God, I've got people, I'm doing nothing but drinking and peeing, girl. You have no idea. I've been drinking all day. <laughs> I got coconut water. I got, I went to Whole Foods. I got blueberries and raspberry. I got tuna fish and crackers. I'm eating good today, baby, because this is the last two days I'll have a refrigerator and can eat what I want when I want it. To make a commitment to get a hotel room that you can't use as a hotel room and use it as your office means that I was really committed to this. I'm not going to miss this. I'm getting it. So here's what's going on. As soon as this thing ends, my, my phone is blown off the hook. I got somebody who wants me to be on a, uh, they want to have a meeting with me Wednesday uh, on Zoom. And then I see a dentist on Thursday. And then I'm going to do the homemade thing, which starts August 10th. And I'm going to get certified to be a home aide because I realize that when I get my nonprofit, it would be good to know how to take care of elders and people need a little bit more help. And, you know, Jim Rohn says this, when you're thinking about taking a job, don't think about the money. Your only question should be, who will I be as a result of taking this job? Who I will be as a result of doing home aid is I'll be a certified home aide in the state of New York. I can work anywhere in New York and I don't have to take hard jobs. I can take overnight jobs. I saw a homemade today walking down Nostra and she was just taking someone to the store. Yeah. Good is here. Um, I have business opportunities that people want to talk to me about this week. Uh, I got to press through for the uh, Medicaid because if I, get, if I can get the medic, see they don't want to give Medicaid to people over 65 unless they really need it or some shit like that. If I can get it kicked in, then I'll apply out, can get into this program that my girlfriend's in, and they will put me in a hotel and teach me to be a peer counselor, drug counselor, and certify me under the state of New York, and employ me. So, uh, keep going. You are tough. Don't stop. They say when it gets hard, it's you are almost there. Yes, exactly. It's not even hard. It's not even hard. It's just that I have other things going on around this. You know, trying to get things in and out of shelter that cannot go, things in and out of storage that can't go in the shelter. So I got to move it over there today so that when I leave Monday, I can leave early. The shelter, the thing opens up at 8. I got to be at the nail shop at 9.30. Wow. So it's been amazing having this hotel room because um, I... I'm able to see and visualize what it'll be like when I have my office in my studio. I bought everything to put in the studio. So I know it's coming. I know it's coming. It's here, I just haven't seen it yet. If you find any value in this podcast, you can just cash at me $5, guys. That's all, you know, I mean, just do that. Um, so I got this book today, How to Be Fan Fucking Tastic. I love this. You would be great as a support person, but I totally see you as leader building a whole business by building up. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm going to open up uh, a shelter. 
I need three buildings. One to get them right off the street, dirty and nasty and drug addicted. That building. Second building is transitional. The third building is um, sustainable housing where you have ownership in your apartment. You have your own garden. You have nursing. You have life coaches. I'm writing it down, guys. That's it. Okay, you see that? Cash out, Queen Raw TV. Um, they don't want to do it if you're over 65, so I have to apply. And they sent me the application. It's sitting right here. Wait a minute. I can't even see that. i got enough markers in here to do everything in the world. Where is everything? God, Jesus. Oh, here they are. <laughs> you see how many markers I have? I haven't even used the board. Hold on. I'm going to mark it up. All right, here we go. There we go. There it is. Bam! <laughs> Dollar sign, Queen Raw TV. Boom. Dollar sign, Queen Raw, R-A, TV. Boop, boop, boop. Whether you believe it or not, you are inspiration. Oh, I believe it. Girl, let me tell you something. Let me tell you what's going on with us, with me and this tribe. I'm not dropping the ball. Bad music doesn't matter. Uh, to me, whatever, it doesn't matter. Uh, I have hundreds. I haven't even counted them. I don't want to cry. I haven't even been able to feel it because it's happening so fast. I have hundreds of messages from you <laughs> telling me mm. how awesome I am, how I'm making a difference in your life, how much you love me. Do you see all these messages in my notes? Can you see them? Let me flip the camera. Oh, God. So, on the side, hold on. On the side, okay, so here's a note I got today. Um, look how long that note is. You're so beautiful, so honest. You don't need anything. You just shine. I love the way the music goes through you, and you have to just take it. I love energy band, how you push on. You're so real and such a gift to us. You're spreading joy, hope, and you freed yourself from the rubbish. Well done, beautiful. You're an example of not meeting much in life to be happy. We don't need to be supermodels. Just have the latest fashion or have the latest fashion or the latest and greatest of everything. We just need to know that we're enough. Thank you. Oh, gorgy girl, I love listening to you chat. Usually I zone in in about two seconds when people start talking. You are one very special queenie. Love from New Zealand. Wow, thank you for wanting to reach out to the homeless community. I was homeless several times and never had no help. I'm now the account manager for a cleaning company. Just because a person kicked down on their knees doesn't mean they have to stay there. Thank you once again. Send them prayers and keep it moving. Love you, Queen Rod. And never fail to motivate and keep me laugh. So, look. All these are messages I have saved from y'all. All these. You see all these messages? Do you see what's going on? <laughs> so, in the hood, you know what we call this? I'm blowing up, bitch. That's what we call it. I'm blowing up. And what it means is that you're finally getting to where you wanted to get to, or maybe you didn't even know you wanted to get there. But I have so many people pushing me, coaching me, loving me, but most of all, edifying me and telling me, you're my coach, queen. I'm doing it. I'm, I'm eating better. I'm exercising. I'm doing the work. I've started my business. I went back to school. I'm more than a meta, me, motivational speaker. I'm a coach. And you guys have proven that. I want to show this to my caseworker, but I don't think she's going to get it. Like Tony said, you know, we're so turned up that people think we're crazy. 
But I thought if she could see this, she would know I need housing now, not two months from now. Last week, bitch, I got equipment, all kinds of shit. I got people waiting on me. I don't know what to do, but pray. Pack my shit up, put it in storage, get back here, and do the best of my ability and pray. I try to, one thing I try to do, knowing my personality, is to make sure I don't get overwhelmed. So that's why I know to take some of this stuff out of here and dump it. Come back with an empty suitcase so that when I pack it up tomorrow, um, I probably won't have to take it anywhere tomorrow. Excuse me. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. So, um... You know, most of my streams are now 10, 11, 12,000. You know what I mean? And it's just message after message after message. I love y'all so much. So I came on today to show you that I am human. Shit do get on my nerves. And so that you know that I'm not perfect. Okay. <sighs> Hold on. Okay, let me be a good girl. <laughs> I'm not taking taxis all over the place. I'm on the train. There you go. Can you see that? I have $250 more to collect for the hotel to check out Monday. All right, you got it? Um, you know I'm committed to pay $1,000 for a hotel that I never even slept in. To have an office to do this work. This is big for Queen. I've never put an investment like this in myself in a long time. Not since I did tw uh, Sacred Woman 20 years ago. I did Sacred Woman, I did a landmark forum, and I did the Passion Test certification, and that was a gift. You just download the Cash App. Um, I also take Apple Pay. Let me give you some other links, okay? I'm so damn tired, I can't even think of my phone number. Cash App's the easiest, but I also do Apple Pay, which is very secure. 270. I don't even know my number. I'm so damn tired. Um, so my why is 60,000 homeless people laying around the streets of L.A. The mayor ain't done shit. Nothing. My why is there's a big homeless shelter around here and there's a lot of trash because the people come out to shelter, they ain't got nothing to do, they're feeding their addictions and everything. We need to hire those people to clean up the neighborhood. That's how you do that. We did that in Skid Row. We put all the people to work and they're really happy. Yeah, they're working. So put the homeless people who want to work to clean up the neighborhood. The city can do that or the businesses can do it. Um, I sleep in a shelter. I'm at the Help Women Shelter at 116 William Street. Let me give you guys my um, my address too. I like getting mail. <laughs> 111 East 14th Street. Number 139. New York. Oh God, I'm so tired. York, one oh 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 three, one five nine. Hold on. So our class starts August first. It's called Your Health Is Your Wealth. I'm gonna have about ten speakers, master teachers on the Zoom. 
and uh, I'm just grateful. Those are tears of gratitude. There's my email, Yvette Vono 7 Hey, Milton, how you doing? Milton sends me messages just loving up on me every day. I love you, Milton. Yvette Vono 7 at Gmail. Cash app is Queen Raw TV. My phone number is 213-270-3868. My address is 111 East 14th Street. I have a P.O. box. It's so wonderful. 111 East 14th Street, Box 159, New York, New York, 10003. Take a screenshot. This is all me. Don't call me. Text me because I'll be streaming and I'll be busy. But you can text me all you want. Text, text away and I will answer you. I love to connect and I love humans. I'm a natural connector. I'm what's called a Maven connector. So on our call, we're gonna have Kafunia Star Rebel, Beauty, what's her name? She's so cute. Uh, her name's Beauty something. Uh, we're gonna have uh, numerologer, business owners, teachers, uh, water fasters. You know, it's gonna be a big thing because I know a lot of people. And Monday I start calling them and getting their commitments. But. Uh, I already know it's gonna be it's gonna be crazy fabulous. Spirit told me to ask for forty four dollars for the donation for the class. At the end of the class, I'm gonna put all the money together, split it up, and put cash out to speakers. I'm not keeping anything for myself. I want them to really get their word out, their books, let you guys know who they are. And um, yes, anybody interested in being in the class, the uh, email me. Email me. Your wealth is your health, mind, body, and spirit. Zoom. I just wanted to pop in here and tell you how much I love it. See? Yeah, so that's, that's what uh, Christopher Aaron d deals with. Anybody who wants to be part of the program, email me. Because I'm putting it all together next week. I see a dentist on Thursday. I feel better already. See, you guys are feeding me. Dr. Sherelle, I definitely want you on. Anybody who wants to be on can get on. It can be as big as we want it to be. You know what I'm saying? It's Zoom. So maybe everybody will speak 10 minutes, you know what I'm saying? So it'll be nice because it's going to be diversity. I am the diversity queen. So it's just not going to be one kind of peoples. It's going to be all kinds of peoples. It's going to be a rainbow of teachers. I love y'all so much. I feel much better. I feel emotional because I haven't had time to cry about how you loving me. I know it does. I know it does. Come on, we'll do it again. All right, you got it? Here we go. Dee 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 dee. Bam. You see it? Yvette Vono7 at Gmail. Yes, DM me, everybody. So the second class is called Your Wildest Dream. DM me, Dr. Cheryl. I won't pick that up. I, uh, you reach out to her. I, I'm not going to do all that from here. You know I'm not going to. I don't have time to do it. All right. So. All things are coming together for my good. This is something better. Um, I looked at the application for the apartment by the beach. They're going to check my credit. So I opened up a uh, credit thing to check my credit. But I'm going to cancel that out because I'm just going to uh, get a credit report and start making the deals and pay the shit off. But right now I have the monthly thing with Experion where they're going to send me a credit thing every month. Yeah, I have Zelly, but not uh, the other one. Zell's good. Zell's good. And you have all the information for Zell. You have it. This is what you need for Zelle, the phone number, right? And the email and everything. Zelle is great. Apple Pay, Zelle, or Cash App. Okay. I'm having a virtual conference on the 25th. Yes, Carolyn, email me and I'm in. I'm in. On the 25th is good. I'm free that day. Let me write that down. 725, lock it in. And then you, you contact me, okay? And give me the date. Wanini, honey. <laughs> there you are. Wanini, Wanina, he, Williams. 
All right. I'm looking better because I've been drink I've been eating today. Mm hmm. Nice. Getting my hair braided this week. I I can't fight this heat. I'm getting it braided. Then I'll be ready for class. My class as homemade starts August 11. Uh, let me give you a suggestion to have your information typed in. I can't type it in in the chat room. You guys have to type it in. Oh, it's 8-2? Okay, let me not lock it in. Because our class is on 8-1. And then yours is on 8-2. All right. Hold on. Some rooms, like on, on Instagram, I could type all this in. But on this, you guys have to type it in. Good? My arm's getting tired. And I gotta pee. <laughs> 213-270-3868. Queen Ra, Yvette Buono. All right, so the good news is where I'm going to the shelter is right around the corner from the, uh, where I'm going to it for the, for the, um, storage is right around the corner from the shelter. So I just take a couple stops, boom, run in there, put that shit in and come right back. Hey, UK, guess who's going to be on my Zoom call? King E.T. E.T. World's going to be on the Zoom call. Yeah. <laughs> see you, I smile. You see what you guys did to me. I just love y'all. So I feel good. I feel better. I'm going to go put this shit in and come right back. I've already eaten, and I'll be back in an hour. I'll see you later, guys, okay? I got to go. I'll see you at the top. 